everyone, Emily here and welcome to the 14th episode of the Weekly Wrap. I'll be giving you the rundown of my favourite gaming and pop culture news from the week. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the new Pokemon Snap, Super Mario 3D World with Bowser's Fury. We're going to also take a look at the island of Tushima, and I have a Cotton reboot update for you. At the end of this video, I'll also share some of the game highlights from this week's streams. So, stay tuned. If you had have told 16 year old M that in 2021 there was going to be a new Pokemon Snap, she would have said get out of town. The original Pokemon Snap on the Nintendo 64 is by far one of the best Pokemon games to ever ever be released. The classic game from March 1999 gave all of us fans the chance to see the Pokemon on our CRTs larger than life and it is still to this day one of my favourite games. The latest Pokemon game to the franchise is New Pokemon Snap, and Nintendo have just announced, with the teaser trailer, the release date. So set those calendar reminders as the game will be available on the 30th of April 2021. In the trailer, it does give an indication on which Pokemon we're going to see, so hit the comments section below and let me know which ones are your favourites. This week, Nintendo dropped the latest trailer for Super Mario World 3D, which includes Bowser's Fury. The original Super Mario World 3D released on the Nintendo Wii U back in November 2013 took quite a lot of popularity, and it has a meta score of 93%. It's no wonder why Nintendo have decided to re-release a new port of the game. Now don't forget that you'll also have a new adventure with the original game to play which is Bowser's Fury. The game takes place in a kingdom of cats and you enlist the help of Bowser Jr. to find all the cat shines across the land to beat Bowser. Nintendo also released an overview trailer which I recommend checking out. The link's in the description of this video. So, on February 12th, 2021, will you be picking up this game? I know, I definitely will be, and I can't wait to play it. In November 2020, Priest Hiriyama from Tsushima Island had created a crowdfunding page. This was created to help rebuild a Tori gate that was damaged by a typhoon. Fans of the game Ghosts of Tsushima found out about this and donated in droves. So much so that they not only hit their goal, but superseded it by 540%. Hiriyama wrote on the crowdfunding page, we have received a great deal of support from the players of Ghosts of Tushima. The island of Tushima has a ton of landmarks that are shown in the game that tourists can visit. If you'd like to know more, there are links in the description of this video to keep up to date with the progress. Now you may remember last year I discussed a reboot of a game which is Fantastic Cotton. Now I have found that that game is now available for pre-order on the Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation 4 and it's selling very quickly. Available online at Strictly Limited Games, I have pre-ordered the limited edition set. With the conversion and freight, it ended up being around $145 Australian, but considering what's included in that limited edition pack, I think it's really cool. So let me know if you are going to pick this up yourself. I'm very excited for this uh, reboot of the game and the franchise. Uh, hopefully we do see more in the future. There are links in the description of this video if you would like to pre-order your copy. So the past few weeks I've had off and it's been super relaxing. I spent a lot of time with my family and I actually didn't pick up many games, uh, but I did end up playing uh, Super Mario Land 3D on the Nintendo 3DS. Now I can't believe that I hadn't played this game before. It is absolutely amazing. There are a lot of characteristics, uh, especially with Super Mario Brothers 3. So I highly recommend checking out that game uh, and giving it a go. Now on stream, I did uh, jump back into Super Mario uh, Brothers 35. Uh, I absolutely love that game. Uh, it's online co-op and uh, 35 people battle royale style and get knocked out. Uh, super, super fun. So I have a lot of highlights for that as well at the end of this video. Uh, but I am wishing you all a very happy and safe new year. Uh, if you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe. And if you like this video, definitely hit that button. But until next time, I'll talk to you later. Oh shit, him! Oh! oh, that was so lucky. Oh my gosh. Far out.
That was some tricky shit. Woo! Fun times to be had. Oh, but, sorry, what I was going to say, if you are new here, you will know that I actually don't like the water stages or the flying fish. So they do set a challenge for me. Oh, 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 oh. They set a huge challenge for me. Um, oh, fuck. No! No! Don't make me an oh! I'm full of chocolate! Thank you for hosting music! Head, how are you? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. I don't know how I got out of all of that. Hold on. Alright, my time is awesome. Oh, shit. Oh, I don't know. Oh my gosh, that was good. We, I should have probably gone up there and got the. Oh, I don't know how I'm doing some of this tricky stuff today, guys. This is just crazy. I'm not even going to try that. Have I knocked anyone out yet? I don't think I have. How could I not have? This is insane playing. Oh shit! No! Sake, it's down the fucking fish stage. Oh no, I'm very bad at these levels. Just a far out. Yes. And I don't intentionally mean to be bad, but I just am. Um, at the fish, at the, at the fishy stages. because I think this is going to come down to time. <gasps> I won! Yes! We did it! We did it, we did it, we did it. Oh, shit. It's going so quick now. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit. Come on, X, go! Shit. 